sup? What's going on guys? Welcome back to another Cyber Hunter video. So a lot of you guys have been asking exactly what the best settings are for mobile devices, what kind of graphic setting to set, what your HUD is. So the rest of this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to get it all set up and perfect. So make sure you hit that subscribe button, whack a thumbs up on the video and check this out. Let's go. Okay, so let's get started guys. So again, as I start the video, I'm basically going to show you exactly what um, settings I think are the best um, game. Now, bearing in mind guys, I use a, a Samsung Galaxy Tab S4, which has got 6GB RAM. And the Snapdragon um, sort of processor. So, I mean, this these these are the sort of um, settings that I use for a tablet. Now, I know a lot of you guys play on mobile. Um, I think these settings that I'm about to tell you are going to be perfect on your mobile device as well. And I'm also going to show you my sort of HUD setup as well. Okay, so let's go over the basics. So, I have my left stick on auto sprint. So, basically, um, when I scroll up on my um, when I'm walking on my joystick, it'll automatically sprint for me. Um, and I've got it so I can automatically open doors so I don't have to press a button to open them this, The button still does pop up so I can close the door behind me if I want to come back through it um, I use left hand fire which is always on um, And I don't use the gyroscope so Getting into the graphic settings now Now bearing in mind guys I still use I, 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 Again I use the Tab S4 but I still think the lowest settings on this game Are more than enough for, for the sort of to have it sort of graphically nice because um, I mean having it on ultra settings it does look better obviously but in order to get the ultimate smoothness these are the perfect settings now I have it on smooth right, which means the ground texture is low the shadows are low and the effects are low as well I have my HDR to disable and my frames I've got on insane now, you can kind of um, change this down if it's sort of lagging on your device and going slowly. You should switch to ultimate, high, or medium. Um, but I have mine on insane. Now, I don't touch the special display UI adaption. The values below the distance between the UI and the borders of the screen. I don't really touch that. Um, so that doesn't need to be touched, I don't think. Now, sounds, I've got my BGM off. You don't really need any of the sounds. You can kind of figure that out yourselves. Um, control settings. Now, um, I know the game when it opens the uh, when you first did the tutorial, it recommends using auto fire. Now, auto fire, guys, is for novices, as you can see there. Novice recommended. I would not recommend using it if you want to be good at the game. Um, it just the auto fire doesn't function as 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 well as other games, and I just think pressing a button and holding a button on an enemy is is the best. Um, so auto fire settings, my auto fire in ADS view, I've got the red dot, I've got all of those ticked apart from the 8x scope. Um, the firing button on the right is closed. I haven't really touched any of these, we've got aim assist on, open. Um, I could possibly turn that off as well, but aim assist does help you if you're not using auto fire. Now, we're going to get into my custom layout. Now, guys, this is my personal custom layout. I always can't stress this enough, okay? The HUD is my own now this is what i'm more comfortable with you guys will feel a lot differently but as you can see here i usually what i do is i use four finger claw i don't use any other any other fingers at all i just use my two four fingers and my two thumbs now i use my left thumb to obviously just control my auto sprint and open my inventory as well um i've got on the left hand side above me you'll see the jump button the crouch button and the roll button are all quite tight together so it's very easy to kind of click those when you're in a fight um the auto sprint you can actually um put that down and up now i've got it closest so all you have to do is flick up the joystick a tiny bit to use auto sprint um got the fire button just here i've left my inventory open uh, button as as the same as default i've left my um, healing items as default as well as picking up stuff 
Um, I've left the car as uh, getting out of the car just under the button and I've also got my scope in button just here next to the fire button. Uh, door button I haven't uh, changed at all. The map I've put right in the top right corner to keep it out of the way uh, as well as all the sort of settings and microphone and auto sprint button and the emote button is just up there. I've moved my, um, my eye icon sensitivity to free look around just above the fire button which is easier for me. Um, the scope on the right you don't need to use, you only need to use this scope button so that one I just leave over there out of the way. Uh, I've got my horn for the cars here. I've changed my uh, two guns down here. You won't be able to see if I can just uh, turn these off really quickly. I've got my um, buttons down here for both of my weapons that I can change with my right thumb. And I've also got my uh, skills just there. We've got the reload button just here. So when I'm switching between weapons, I can quickly press to the reload. And obviously we've got your heals and your grenades down here. I've left the squad mates and the uh, the car icon up there. So we don't really need those. That's just for changing music when you're driving. Um, and that's basically it, guys. All of my button sizes. I'm just going to go through all of them so you can see all of my button sizes. Um, we've got the scope on 130%. We've got the... Uh, crouch on 166, same as the jump button. I've got my uh, roll button at 130%. I've got my joystick. Um, I don't think you can actually change that. So I've got my eye icon at 142%. Um, and that's basically it. I've changed these, uh, the two weapon slots, down to 138% each. And these ones are just on the default 100%. My reload button is at 130%. And my skills button is at 92%. Now, again, guys, that is basically all of my HUD centers. But you guys are going to have different ones. Remember, you don't have to copy mine. You can copy mine if you want to. I think they work very well in the game. But you'll all have different settings. Now, sensitivity-wise, this is, again, down to you. I've customized mine to my liking because I like... High sensitivity, I like it where you can just move your thumb slightly and it will move most of the screen. Um, I'm just going to scroll past and you can see all of my um, all of my percents. That I, uh, I've have, I have all of my centers on. We've got the camera sensitivity at 160%. Uh, I'm just going to scroll through those so you guys, if you want to, you can try these out. But again, guys, you will, you'll figure it out on your own what exactly you like. I don't use a gyroscope. Uh, if you guys do, then fair enough because the gyroscope is very hard to use. And that's basically it. Um, quick message, I haven't touched. The scopes, I've changed all of my scopes to the icon on the far right. Now, you can change these yourselves to anything you like, but I just think that little one is perfect. It gives you a sort of round... Um, it gives you, when you're in a close fight, the round circle retina on the outside sort of you can aim just for people on that and then the dot is for headshots um i've changed that to every one of my guns um scopes i've kept the red dot as the red dot uh, and i've got the quick scope switch on close now vehicles i haven't touched any of these buttons um at all meds um i've changed these no i haven't actually changed these at all i've put the auto recommended meds on now Auto recommended meds guys means that um, whatever health you're at it will automatically equip say a med kit if you're really in danger and you need a lot of health. It'll equip a bandage if you only need a tiny bit and it'll equip adrenaline if you're at full HP and you need some adrenaline. Um, pickups I haven't changed at all. That's all standard. I think the pickup system is absolutely brilliant on this game. You don't need to change the pickups at all. Um, and that is basically my settings guys. Um, in the next video, I'm going to be buying the Battle Pass, the Season Pass, and I'm going to be showing you exactly what's in there and what's uh, what's on offer. Um, but yeah, let me know in the comments what you think about those settings, guys, and if you've got different settings, if you recommend anything I should be changing. I think they're perfect. Um, so that's the end of the video, guys. Just uh, an overlook of all of my in-game settings and the perfect settings I think you should use. So... Remember to smash that subscribe button if you like the video. Whack a thumbs up if you enjoyed the content. And I'll see you in the next one when we're opening the Season 2 Battle Pass. Yeah, boy! Gila.